Okay, so you've downloaded your first Kylana constellation. Congratulations, I hope it was easy. And you didn't have a lot of problems during the way. Now, because you're a beginner, and I guess you're a beginner or a skilled user, what I'll do is, from my personal experience, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through a couple steps you need to know. And a couple steps to make your life much, much easier and save you time and frustration, which I got during the way, a couple months back and a couple years back. So... Right now, I'm going to show you a couple steps and extra tips. Make sure you stick to the end of the video because I give you extreme steps that many, many people will not give you because I don't really know. But I'm giving you my tips and my experience and my tips from my personal experience. So make sure you stick to the end of the video. If you have any questions, you can always ask me in the comments or on Twitter. It's free. Why don't you ask me questions? It's there for you all the time. Enjoy. So the first step that you should take is changing your Kali password. By default, the password is Kali and the login is Kali. Now, as you may know, default credentials are not very, very good and not very, very safe. So what we're going to do is change our password. It's really up to you. Will you change your password too? Now, what we're going to do is change our password right now. So all you do is come to the terminal and you type in P-A-S-S-W-D. And the current password, which I'm not going to tell you guys. And let's put our new password, which is going to be... Let's do... Bam, done. That's you changed. Easy as this. Okay, so just actually an additional trick I just thought of while recording this video. So if you, for some reason, you want to edit someone's password, for example, you might want to give access to your mom or someone and you want to change the password, all you do is type in sudo su, which gives you root access. And as your root, all you do is type in password and the username you want to change, for example, me is Kali, and you're not asked for the current password, which is good which means we can set a new password, right? And you can change it how you wish to whatever you want. It actually bypasses the, the any restrictions, so you can set it back to Kali, Kali if you wish. Just additional check I thought I was gonna give you guys. So the next step I want to talk to you about is basically that you need to learn Linux. You need to be comfortable with using Linux. Now you might be a beginner, I understand that. However, what I have I've made is I've made a couple, of, I can't say hundreds of, but I think it's a couple dozen tutorials about Linux and possibly other YouTubers and basically Twitter and the internet is unlimited resources, right? So make sure you utilize this and learn Linux. So you need to be comfortable with using Linux if you want to become a very, I would say, ethical hacker or you want to be a basically good, good hacker, right? Because Linux, you'll be using Linux anyways. I don't believe you're going to be using Windows to hack because that will be a very, very big pain, I would say. You, you need to use Linux to hack because it is very, very more efficient, it's better, it's basically everyone uses Linux. There's a reason why um, and overall you should learn Linux. So as I said, I made dozens and dozens of tutorials about Linux, so make sure you utilize my videos because I have, I'm very, very beginner friendly, right? I've been a beginner myself, I get all the struggles, that's why I also put extra, extra, extra information into my videos, extra detail, extra sort of tips and tricks that I have used before and past and I use them now to, to get you guys ahead there than you going out and getting frustrated, right? So make sure you utilize my videos, my Twitter and other YouTubers information to learn Linux, right? Once you are basically confident with using Linux, you're confident with day-to-day -day tasks of using Linux sort of. What I mean by this is basically you're comfortable with using Linux as your day-to-day system it's not scaring you then you're good to go right okay so the first step you need to do is upgrade your system regularly why would you upgrade the reason is because you get the latest updates of tools your system also improves your security so you, the first thing you need to do is sudo apt update once you do that i should update your repository repositories and the next thing is the sudo apt full upgrade minus y hyphen y and then as soon as you do this as you can see my system's up to date for you if you haven't run this for ages it might take you some time right however but remember to upgrade regularly it will benefit you and also actually kali fun tip fun fact kali has actually released a 2024 version so if you haven't already make sure to update now, another step is using the tools within Kali or using the internet. This is very, very important. For example, 
you have came across a version of FTP 133C. So you should Google everything or use tools within Kali to search for exploits or to look for information. Why? Because people underestimate Google and basically tools within the system, right? What you should do is, for example, you have came across an FTP version of 133C. Now, the first thing, FTP is unsecure, but let's just, just ignore that for a second. But FTP 133, FTP 133C is vulnerable. It has a backdoor command execution, right? So it is a basically very, very bad, bad version to use, right? So if you use search exploit for FTPD 133C, and as you can see, it shows you backdoor command execution meta exploit, and it actually shows you RC as well, right? So this is very, very bad. It is use this information and especially Google, especially Google, because Google has more information than search exploit and other stuff, right? Because then if you, if you Google stuff, it has basically information from multiple resources. And especially using websites, for example, hack tricks, um, hacking articles, and I believe Occupied Web. These are the very, very good free websites if you want to get some of the, some of the good information or exploits and hacking tricks that you want to use. So make sure you check out these websites because they're very, very good, right? So as I said, don't underestimate stuff. Don't un underestimate Google because I used to underestimate Google. I said, nah, I'm smarter than that. I used to underestimate search exploit. Yeah, I'm smarter than that. No, I'm not. This has lots of information. You can only remember so much. I forget. You can forget stuff after a week. This doesn't forget stuff after a week. This will be here forever. So make sure you do do research, especially with Nmap as well. If you ever do Nmap, make sure that you do research. Right, something to be very, very aware of, my friends. Another very, very important step is to not use sudo, sudo account or sudo user, or interact as the sudo for all, for everything. The reason is because you're actually, now this system is actually universal. It's actually for any Linux system and I would say for Windows as well. You should not interact as a Lin as a sudo account all the time. So you should never sudo su all the time because if you, for whatever reason, for example, you run a program or a virus, what you're actually doing is you're just making everything so much easier for the hacker to hack you or steal all your files. The reason is if I run a virus as root account, I basically give the hacker reverse shell as root. However, but if I was to interact as a, for example, normal user, Kali, I still has root access, but it's obviously a much, much better situation, right? Because then the, for the hacker to basically use root account, he needs, to, he needs to know the password, which is also coming back to step one, I believe. If you have a strong password, you're making everything harder. So you need to do is basically give yourself, for example, Kali by default, don't change anything. Or if you want to set up a new account, that's fine, but do not interact as root account all the time it will basically decrease your security and now i'm saying this because this is actually a very very important this is a universal step universal for any linux system ubuntu doesn't matter do not interact as root account all the time you should basically use sudo for everything but if you need to sudo su and then go back to kali to the account you need to go right to the normal user how do you go back all you do is su su kali and that's your back, right? So this is very, very important because I see people doing this all the time and it is a direct security threat, right? It is basically just like exposing yourself to, to, the, to the world, right? You should not interact as root all the time because it is a security threat. Okay, so that'll be it for this video. If you'd like to learn hacking the fastest way and save money, make sure to check out my, this, my course in the description below. It gives you lifetime access. So basically if you buy it now, it will give you lifetime access for any future updates. If you have any questions, make sure to hit me in the comments, ask me on Twitter, anywhere you really want. I will try to respond as soon as possible. So, see you later, see you later guys. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.